Got some motors in the mail. I got these brackets on them that kind of get in the way of things, but I don't know. They should be usable. I also got a Adruno Mega, which I'm going to work with the uh, Alulo A4983 stepper motor drivers. So, I'm going to try to solder together that whole control system once I get all the parts. So, I'd get the uh, Adruno first because it's pretty much widely available and start messing around with it, try to learn. How it works, the ins and outs of it. Then another thing I was uh, looking into is the amount of hardware actually on this is way too much. There's uh, many points where I can just simply remove the nuts and move pieces to the side and just get rid of a bunch of nuts and bolts. These two nuts, this washer, it's all not necessary. This washer right here isn't even necessary. And then these two nuts, I can just remove them, take this plastic piece, put it right against this one. And it'll have the same effect because this spacing right here doesn't need to be standardized or anything. It just has to be straight. So, comes a long process of pretty much removing all these bolts and taking all the extra hardware off to make it as light as possible and easy basically. I think I can start mounting this motor and then try to source a, uh, a belt that can actually fit this and I won't even have to use the one that I got that was printed out just use that one, it's already... I don't know. Before, after. That's all the unnecessary parts. Oh! And two more. So now I got the plastic right up against the other plastic. And a lot of this is actually in reach of the motor. So I'm going to have the belt right there and it'll line right up.
then let's say these bars are spaced really far apart. Oh, uh, I'm actually not there, I think. No, I don't. It's not tightened on that one. really it's starting to come together I guess I just gotta get more boards more electronics gotta get the Polulo Polulo I don't know gotta get the motor drivers and then get the Adruno hooked up to those so it works and yeah get some board to mount all the electronics on get the printing plate hmm. line up my pulleys Oof. Hmm. now it's time to uh... mount some motors yeah. I already got this one mounted in I didn't record it, but, you know, the same thing as this one that I'm going to record. So I thought these these brackets on the motors were uh, a problem, but I guess they're not really as big as a problem as I thought, because they still fit, even with those little tabs on them. So, I guess it's not a problem. And these are just the screws that were already in the uh, stepper motor. I just took them out and now I'm putting them back in. Backwards. And there you have it. One mounted motor. I don't know. Is it right? I think it's right. You guys tell me. <laughs> I got them cheap off eBay. Twenty bucks for four of them. Got four just in case. I need one. Extra one. So I need these two. And then one more for the extruder, and I need to buy a different type of motor to go on top right here and right there, so that I can get the thing to go up and down.